Scotty Reed here, Black Talk Radio News, and in this segment, I got to talk again about this woman, this black woman by the name of Candace Owens. Uh, earlier tonight on Twitter, uh, she sent a very insulting tweet. I don't know if she was sending it to black people. I don't know if it was just red meat for suspected racist um those who are of the conservative political persuasion is is probably the latter uh, more than the former um, with these talking points. We've heard all these talking points before uh, from black conservatives. Uh, she kind of reminds me of Sher former sheriff, I should say, since he's resigned his position in disgrace under a cloud of investigation. But former sheriff David A. Clark, who is a registered Democrat, runs it or was running as a Democrat, but of course he is a conservative. He spends all day on Twitter attacking Democrats and whatnot. And there's lots to attack the Democrats about, but you know, not the things that he talks about. All right. And she seems to be made in that mode. Uh, some people have told me that this is all um, an act from her, that she used to be um, uh, what they call a social activist and would speak out against racism or or police violence, you know, just a social activist, not a conservative activist. But now she is uh, working as urban outreach director, I guess. And again, you know, how you going to urban is cold word for black. That's what that means. We all understand that's what that means. But she was hired as urban outreach. And I'm like, how many uh, black folks is you bringing in to the NRA or to the conservative conservative side? By insulting them and by, you know, giving this false history like she gave a fake history about uh, the NRA being founded as a civil rights organization to arm black people right after the Civil War to protect them from the Klan. You know, um, I'm not aware of all these black NRA sponsored uh, groups who were on to the teeth, who were uh, stopping all those lynchings that was going on by the thousands OK, um, I, I, I'm not I don't recall any of that kind of stuff being reported. And I'm really willing to bet you that there was some car carrying NRA members in those lynch mobs, uh, lynching black people. I also don't recall any white NRA uh, groups uh, stopping any lynchings or anything. So, you know, some of this stuff, you think it would be simple uh, for people to identify when they're getting hit with fake news, but apparently not. You know, a lot of people are lazy. They just assume these things are correct and they don't do any research. But her latest offense, and she's on my radar now, she's the latest black person to be propped up um, by the uh, conservative mainstream media. Uh, she's pushing out a lot of propaganda. So I, I got to keep my eye on her and counter this propaganda that she's putting out there with facts okay so anyway she made a post on twitter said socialism kills america is the greatest country on earth and blacks will never succeed until we recognize that the welfare system public schools and the democratic party are our enemies so again you know she she must be taking her cues from uh former sheriff david a clark uh jr you know again we've heard these talking points before you would think these people would give y'all a new script or something. And again, I will fire you if you are not bringing in uh, black people uh, to the organization, to the calls. And I know y'all focus on, on our young people, but, uh, you know, the majority of young black kids are not that stupid. And, you know, again, this is really, you know, insulting. Um, she posts a meme of herself. The most controversial thing I've ever done was decide to think with my brain instead of my skin tone. So what this is meant to do is to delegitimize complaints about racism and white supremacy. Uh, you wanna complain about the disproportionate um, number of black people and other non-white people being shot down in the streets by slave catchers, oh, y'all call them police. But um, yeah, stop thinking with your skin. It's not cause you're, you're black or, or, or whatever. This is to delegitimize those who speak out against racism. You know, to, it's insinuating that you can't observe racism, know it's racism. You can even have people 
you have white people like the teacher down there in Florida admit that they're practicing racism and hear all these racist comments coming from white people. But hey, if we observe that and we call it out, we're thinking with our skin, right? See how stupid this is, you know? And um, unfortunately, it was shared and liked a, a whole bunch of times. And, you know, that's just so insulting. Do you, do you think you're going to recruit me to anything by insulting my intelligence? It, you know, melanin doesn't have brain cells. It, it, it doesn't, in, in case you didn't know. So this is just, this is a woman that I will be keeping an eye on and countering this BS uh propaganda that she's putting out again uh, I suspect given her background that she is doing this for some butter biscuits for, the, for those that don't know that what that term means that means you know back in the day you would have these slaves who were getting in good I should say victims of slavery who would try to survive on the plantation by getting in good with with the enslaver and you know he would do that and often be rewarded with some butter biscuits because you know they would starve um a lot of these victims of slavery so they would even do it get you know do it for some butter biscuits a plate full of butter biscuits and so they you know i'm, I'm referring that to money you know u.s currency federal reserve no so i suspect that's what her real game is here um but if those people over at turning point usa want to keep wasting their money on their urban outreach director, then, you know, it's their money to throw away, but <laughs> you're not, black people are not that stupid. All right, this has been Scotty Reed with the Black Talk Radio News. Report and commentary. If you would like to support truly independent black media, make a donation to the U.S.-based nonprofit Black Talk Media Project. Y'all be safe out there.